Okay, we're under attack. A hunter just showed up on the island here. And, uh, I don't know if, I don't know if he spawned here or if he, I don't know, he was just there. I, th I think he spawned here. Ooh, look at that. Shotgun shells. Nice. Pretty sure he just spawned here. Okay, we are actually in pretty good health, though. He hit us once. Uh, I did look at it this time and was ready to hit the bandage, but I noticed that we didn't get hit that hard. So I wasn't planning on bringing you guys back quite yet, but, um, yeah, that happened. So <laughs> I just came out here to, uh, you know, do my daily chopping the wood on the trees and stuff, and there he was. So it's like, oh, shit. Uh, anyway, uh, there is one thing that did happen uh, or that I have done uh, uh, since the last episode and I have now put a generator in and filled it up but I'm not going to run it though until uh, we get uh, some power storage down to fill it uh, I don't want to run it to fill this because this is free power we just have to wait um, and then of course we need more storage before this can actually fill anything up uh, so we got that done but yeah it's only actually for me it's only been like maybe 10 minutes at the most uh, since I left you in the last episode but it is of course the next in game day uh, so let me get uh, situated here, guys, and um, at some point I'll probably uh, start the camera up again later on in this in-game day. Um, oh, we did get another rabbit out of our trap out there, too. Uh, I checked it on the way home last night, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we have found the second hunter camp. It is right over there, um, just across the lake uh, from our place, which is there. Uh, so that's good um, because this is not an area that we necessarily need to come over to very often, if, if at all. Um, so, yeah, we found the second group. Now we just need to find the third group. I was just coming over here to check our, our trap, and I had to pull a bear away from it. Now we got a friggin' wolf next to it. <clears throat> uh, so that bear is right there. Let's grab this. What level is this wolf? It is a level three, but it's kind of right where we need to go. So I think what we're going to do is take the chicken out first. And then let's nail the wolf. All right. Also, I made myself a the the medium uh, shirt. So we have the medium shirt, and I just need cloth to make the medium pants. Coming up next. Okay, let's check our trap here. It's still open and still baited. Okay, so we'll come back and check that at a later point in time. Okay, so. We have permanent hunters over here in Birchwood, and they this might be Charlie, based upon... No, that's probably not Charlie. I, I don't know. It's just kind of hard to tell at this point. And then we have um, the other hunters that we spotted right... I think it was right over around in here somewhere. It's kind of hard to... To tell for sure but so we know where two of three of the hunters are um i'll check again at night time too and see if uh you know it's a lot easier to spot them at night because of their campfires so anyway just wanted to show that to you i'm gonna go back to the base cook up this chicken for lunch and then probably cross over to that side and keep doing some looting i'll bring you back with an update here in a little while all right, we're under attack, and it looks like the game spawns the hunters on the island. Okay. Okay, that was a terrible time for a phone call from a 
the service department to come in. But anyway, we managed to uh, to kill these guys. So let's see. The first guy that we killed, was that him? I don't know. So yeah, um, the game spawns in, or spawns the hunters right on the island. I don't know if I like that or not, to be honest with you, because, I mean, there's just, they're just here, you know? Um, but he had liver on him. Interesting. If that's the way it's going to work, then that's the way it's going to work. So, uh, I think, it, I think they might have thrown a grenade or something at the house. I don't see any visible damage, but we should get the hammer out and check it anyway. So let's cook this up. And, uh, I was just, I was just out getting some wood and then I was going to go, um, check our trap across the way there. Uh, this is meat, uh, along with the steak that I got, uh, yesterday in, in game. Uh, so let me just kind of put this stuff away here. I'm a little out of, so <laughs> out of sorts because that was like completely unexpected. Yeah. Um, the fact that they just instantly spawn here kind of sucks because it means I can't really see them coming. Um, but I mean, you know, if that's the way it works, then that's the way it works. We're just going to have to deal with it. Okay. So let's get our hammer out of here and see if, um, we have any actual damage on the base. So that's 600. There's just a tiny bit of damage there. Not enough to warrant actually even trying to fix it. The ceiling's good. Um, you know what that does mean, though, I think, is it means that these guys will probably never be able to attack from this side out on the water. So we're going to use that to our advantage. Uh, 750, 746. Yeah, the, I guess the grenade that they threw never actually hit the, the base. Um, they kind of threw it on the ground towards me. So, yeah, I mean, that, that damage is not, not enough to to even worry about uh so we won't waste any resources on it anyway okay let's split this in half and put these back in here and we got some extra shotgun shells out of the deal so can't complain about that uh along with you know a couple other resources so yeah not too bad and we got hurt a little bit but not terribly hurt i was just like completely distracted by that phone call i've got my vehicle uh in the shop for service because i'm going to take it on a you know, a, a long trip. Uh, speaking of which, I did mention this back at the very beginning episode, but the, all these episodes up to this point, and probably the next few even after this, are pre-recorded because, because I'm going to basically be gone for two weeks um, and not able to record uh, due to both personal reasons and work reasons. And so, yeah, these are all just pre-recorded episodes. Uh, okay, so anyway... Um, I think I'll go ahead and let you guys go here. Um, now that we know that they, they just insta-spawn here, it's good to know that because, again, like I said, we can plan ahead, and it does mean that anything facing the water is not really going to take ever take any damage. Uh, so we are definitely going to build out into the water as much as we can for that reason. Okay? Uh, but anyway, I'm going to let you guys go here. Um, it looks like we're going to be too shy of being able to make another lockpick, though I still haven't actually used this lockpick yet. And I will bring you back with an update here in a little while. See ya. At the arch, and we have found a locked crate. So let's see what goodies we have inside of here. All right, look at all of that. Five rifle rounds. Some gears. Yeah, all good stuff. Enough to make another lock pick with the iron I believe I have back at the base. Plus, we have 14 iron here anyways. So yeah, not a bad haul, actually. Not a bad haul at all. Uh, so I'm just, you know, been out looting, um, nothing real fancy schmancy has happened except for that locked crate that we just got. And so I think I'm going to keep, uh, you know, stay out a little bit longer and keep, you know, looting and stuff until it starts to get dark and then head back to the base. So that's really about all I have for you right now. I'll bring you back with an update in a little while. All right, guys, uh, we are back at the base, and we should have enough cloth here to upgrade to the medium pants. So let's take a look and see what we need for those. Uh, we need feathers and twine. Not a problem at all. So let's do it. Okay, medium pants coming right up. 
So I have uh, I harvested 12 cotton from the plants that we planted. And um, the first thing I want to do is I want to make a combat helmet. Uh, but we're going to have to come up with two alloy sheets, which either means we're going to have to find them in a locked crate um, or we're going to have to make them uh, once we get the the bench going. Okay, so we now have uh, plus 10% damage protection and a cold tolerance of down to minus 1.2. Heat tolerance of 26.6. Um, okay, so we're doing pretty good on that. Uh, we probably could make the padded cloth now. What does it require to do that? Uh, it takes th three. So yeah, we could actually make four padded cloth. Uh, well, we can't right this second because we need more normal cloth but we have enough cotton uh, and feathers to do that so yeah cloth is definitely something we're gonna gonna be working on as we continue to go out and about and so what are you doing you're not doing anything and I got some extra meat in here plus some liver that we got oh we need to make some more arrows so let's grab this um, those and those we have 228 nails look at that that's awesome I've have they has he changed the stack size? Because I thought 200 was the, the max size you could get. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm uh, mistaken about that. Nevertheless, I'm very happy to have that many nails. Okay, so let's make 10 sticks, and then we, we can make 10 arrows. And then we'll go out and about. Uh, we still haven't found the third hunter base yet. Uh, so we're still working on trying to figure that out. Uh, nothing has happened in, in this area, which is actually a good thing because it is eventually my intention to build a bridge from here to here. And then, you know, as long as nobody settles down here, then we should be able to move through here with relative ease in the future. Coming around this side is going to be a little more tricky, but still doable because the, the hunter base is here. So we could always come over here and then, you know, work our way around this way as needed. So I don't think that'll be a problem unless... You know, one of the hunters happens to be out cutting wood and we run into him or something. Uh, speaking of which, we haven't had any more action from the hunters since uh, that last uh, time they came to attack. And I think those were rogues anyways. We are just about ready for another lockpick, but I have an, I've already made a new one, but I'm in terms of iron fragments. And I, as you can see, I now have a power uh, storage thing down. Um... But the next thing we got to do is get a mass storage thing down because we're going to need more than what the BCU can handle to make the workbench, which is kind of the next thing that I'm gunning for here. All right, let's um, top off. Did I not just pick that up? Okay, let's top that off and then get our arrows made. And let's go ahead and set out and... Start doing the same old thing, looting, looking for locked crates, and uh, looking for you know the the next hunter base. Got some potatoes. Oh, I did. I, I guess I already told you. I harvested the garden, so we got a new crop planted. Uh, some carrots, potatoes, and a little, and I think like an onion plant, based upon the seeds that I had. But we really need to find some tomato seeds. So hopefully that will happen fairly soon. Uh, I don't think I'm going to harvest the trees now. We're, we're doing okay on wood. So let's just get out and, and start looting here. Might as well drop this stuff off, though. Oh. I'm putting it in the wrong place. I keep doing that. Okay, let's eat this liver now. I'm sure it probably would have lasted a little bit longer, but I'd rather eat it now and get it than take a chance on losing it. Yeah, looks like we have a kelp down there. Uh, no, that's not a kelp. That's a, a clam. All right, here. There's a kelp over there, though. Okay, let's get this. Right, we probably better go back up for air before we grab that one. Oh, there's another one too. Okay, good. We'll probably just eat these right now for carbs. I do have two antidotes made up now, so we're in pretty good shape if we get infected for those.
Okay, let's cross over and start doing doing our, the loot thing. Ammo crate. What do we got? All right, got some arrows and some casings. There's a copper up there. Yeah, what? Well, let's grab it. We're gonna need it later. We're gonna let that chicken go for now. It's too early to try and get him. Uh, can we get to this guy? There's always an animal spawn here. That's a level one wolf. Actually, let's kill him. All right, he tagged us, but fortunately we didn't get infected, so. Okay, let's grab the tree. Ammo crate. Got another arrow, good. Uh, what we want to do, what I want to do is want to uncover some more territory. So I think what we'll do is kind of run up through here to start uncovering that. And then all this was for, <laughs> for what I was killed uh, in the right when we started. And then maybe circle back around and come back through this way to start uncovering some more of that territory. So that's the general plan. I'm sure it'll, it'll change as we get sidetracked and obstructed and rerouted by the game but uh, that's the plan at the moment okay we got another ammo crate Let's see what we got got some nine mils okay building crate got a nice little haul out of that pond too uh eight kelps and three pearls not bad all right we got a chicken there let's let the chicken go for now i am starting to hang on to strawberries now uh because we're able to start keeping a handle on our our carbs that's where we we lived in season one over there in that cave it wasn't a bad place but you know just being far away from water was a huge pain in the neck and we got a level two wolf and a bunny more cloth let's go wash off since we're still close to the pond there we go okay persistence is king ladies and gentlemen persistence is king Let's go visit our old haunt here. Yeah, if you didn't see uh, season one, we basically built our base inside of this cave. And uh, it definitely worked out okay, but it was, like I said, it was just... The, the worst thing about it was no, not having any water. And not having a nice view either, but the water was the thing. Made it a pain in the butt. Not gonna lie, it was a pain in the butt. I think we can probably grab that chicken now. Ooh, locked crate. Alright. Give us something good, game. Five shotgun sh Oh man, look at the ammo, you guys. Six... And we got these now that we can make the helmet. That was a beautiful find. Absolutely enormously beautiful. Uh, is that a cougar? Yep. There's a mountain lion up there. I wonder what level it is. Um. Okay. Let's uh let's harvest this tree. If that's a level one mountain lion, we could probably take him. Uh, 
He'll give us sinew, and we need sinew to make that the helmet. Unless, wait, did we get more sinew out of that? Let's look. Oh, we did. Okay. Oh, we don't even. Yeah, we got lots of sinew now. Um. Still, let's go see what level the cougar is. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. He's a level three. Yeah, let's not mess with him right now. We'll be going after cougars later, but right now we don't need to. Especially, like, wow, we got eight. <laughs> That's a lot of sinew. My goodness, wow. Okay, that was the best lock trade I think we've had so far uh, in season two here. That was really good, and all the ammo that we got out of it, and the plates. Yeah, I'm I'm very pleased. Very pleased with how that turned out. Okay, let's see. Sun is... It's early afternoon, so we got a little bit of time. The thing is, is we got all this valuable stuff with us. We should probably start thinking about heading back. And I think we will. So, let's see. Where's the base? It's that way. Okay, let's, um, let's look at the map here. Yeah, let's see if we can kind of go through here and unlock all of this uh, fog of war as we work our way back. So we want to be kind of going this direction. Yeah, that was a super good lock crate. Very nice. Very, very nice. Back here, yeah, let's get this fully loaded now. Okay, are we going through the right area? Yeah, we need to kind of go through here, except for there's a couple critters that way. There's some ore up on that rock. Got a bear and a level three wolf. Don't really want to mess with a level three wolf. We could take him, but let's not uh, take any, any extra chances you know, with all this stuff we have. Do I have any more nine mils? Yeah, I do. I mean, we could easily take them with a shotgun, but I'd rather hang on to our shotgun shells for now, since we don't have an abundance of them. All right, let's take a look at the map again. Okay, so we're going to um, pretty much just... Where's the base at? Base, 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 base. That way. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much the way we want to go to remove the fog of war. But we have to sidestep that grizzly there. Let's come up here and grab this ore. Yeah, I'd very much like to make a have a helmet before we really start mixing it up with the hunters because you know that's going to help save us from dying from headshots yep let's just pretty much go straight through here and that should just about remove that little portion of fog of war I hear a rabbit I just don't know where he is What level is that wolf? That's a level two. Yeah, let's leave him alone. Excellent. Okay, so we've uncovered all that fog of war. Very good. Very good indeed. Oh, well, that's a pick. Let's grab this onion here. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to head back to the house, guys, and uh, we should have enough stuff now to make the helmet, I think. That is the plan as soon as we get home. Uh, do I have room for a chicken? Yes. Let's also butcher him so we get the, uh, the cloth off of him.
Okay, I'll see you guys back at the base. All right, we have a deer on our island. Let's see if we can pop it from the water here. Look at that, our first deer kill of season two. All right, very nice. Okay, I gotta drop a couple things off before I butcher the deer. Okay, let's put some wood in there and just quickly put a couple things in here and then we'll go get the deer here. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so while we're waiting for this meat to cook up, let's grab the plating and the sinew and the cloth. And what else do we need to make the helmet? Oh, and we need to make the four cotton uh, thingamadoodles. Okay, so let's grab those. Uh, you know what, though? We might not have an, actually have enough cloth to do this. Let's just see what happens here. We need four of these. Yeah, we're not going to have enough cloth. Okay, that's fine. We're working towards it, though. So we will get there eventually. We're not that far off now. We've got all the, the hard-to-get stuff, which was the basically the plating and the, <clears throat> and the cotton. So we just have we need a little more cloth to finish all that out. Let's grab these steaks. We'll kill the chicken. And put that meat on. Very good. All right. We are doing quite well, ladies and gentlemen. Quite well indeed. Uh, next thing we need to build is a mass uh, storage. So we need 500 power for that. Uh, but I am going to wait for the free power to build up before I turn uh, this guy back on. And, um, yeah, so we're just basically needing uh, enough cloth to make one more of these and then... On top of that, um, oh no, that's all we need. And then we have all the rest of this. So, uh, how much more cloth is that? Two, two more pieces. Or actually, one more piece, because we have one there. So that should not be hard to obtain. That's one rapid kill. Very cool. Okay, guys. Well, I think that is it for this episode. We're going to wrap it up here, and um, I'll probably, again, do some more off-camera looting and bring you guys back. Uh, at some point in the near future, uh, when the time is right. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.